good performance, good performance. Um, I think anyone who's here tonight saw a, a talented team working hard. Um, it was a little bit disjointed in the second half with the, with the injury and obviously we'd made a couple of changes, we wanted to make more changes and at the end we were we were looking after certain personnel, obviously with a view to the weekend, but we respect, respected the competition in terms of the team we put out to start with. I thought we were excellent, I really did, I thought we deserved our win. Um, there's a, a so-called golfing quality in terms of a Premier League setup compared to ours, but I've just said to our boys that I'm not sure that they can be at a better place in terms of their development than next SC. And with, with those um, couple of young players as well, they were given their deb debut in the competition tonight, that must have been pleasing as well. Yeah, it's always pleasing. You know, we keep ticking them off the list, and we keep saying there's more and more to come from our young players at this club. Um, look, every opportunity they get is part of their development. It is, and and they've stepped up tonight and, and they've performed well, and they'll be better for that. You know, Dodsey's going to go and play an under 18s game tomorrow at the Cat and Fiddle. That's part and parcel of his development. But he's come on and played 35, 40 minutes against a, a Premier League outfit at under 21s level. So he's going to be a good player. Um, we've got good players in the ranks. We've got good players coming through. Will Dean, another one under 18s there tonight. Jack Sparks is under 18. So look, a lot of our academy players got a good run out tonight, and it reflects well on the club. It really does. And uh, John gets the two goals as well, he keeps flying to the back of the net, doesn't he? Yep, and he's one we wanted to take off on, the, on our hour mark. Um, we couldn't do that on, with Jimmy's injury, so he, he conserved as much energy as he possibly could. But his, his hamstrings were tightening up and his, his body was, was starting to go on the back of not having enough game time recently. Look, it is what it is in terms of competition, I'm not going to complain about it, because it's been another good night in terms of our, our progress moving forward. Um, like I said, some players, young players and fringe players are ones who have not been getting the game time stood up for that. And they, you know, they want to play. They want to play on a Saturday. That's our bread and butter, the, le the league programme. So the games like this are so important for our development and it's another positive night for us. How pleasing is it to be on five points in the group going into the last game? Well, part of my team talk before the game was we've got to give ourselves an opportunity to, to qualify. And we, we only do that by a positive result tonight and another clean sheet backed up the, the clean sheet against Yeovil. Um, we need more clean sheets in, in the league. Um, but generally, look, we've given ourselves a chance. Obviously, we'll see how, how Bristol Rovers get on against Yeovil. Um, but it'll be a good game to finish. Well.